Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on command line for networking. Today we're going to be talking about what command line tools are, and then we're going to discuss some networking command line utilities. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. Of course, we get to start by talking about command line tools. Now, command line tools are a utility or a set of utilities that are accessed from the command line interpreter. Usually, they are accessed from the desktop, but not always. Now, to access them in Vista, you click on Start, and then in the Run box, you type Command or CMD. In Windows XP, you click on the Start button, then you click on Run, and then you can enter CMD or Command to get access to the command line. Now let's talk about some networking command line utilities. The first command we're going to discuss is ping. Ping can check for TCP IP stack initialization if you ping address 127.0.0.1. It's also used to check for basic connectivity between two nodes, which is really useful when diagnosing network issues. It uses ICMP echo requests as kind of a sonar system. It sends a signal, signal out and then waits for the response back and logs it. The basic command format for ping is ping followed by the IP address in dotted decimal format. You can also use the user-friendly name of a node with ping. So that would be like ping www.google.com. Its behavior can be modified in several ways. You can use the forward slash question mark after typing in ping to find out what modifiers are available for ping. Another useful utility for networking is tracer. That's Microsoft's implementation of the traceroute command from Unix Linux. It will trace the route between two nodes as it goes through router. It also uses ICMP requests. It logs the response from routers and the end node, but it does have limited usability as many routers block ICMP requests. It uses the same basic format as ping, only of course you begin it with trace RT. Its behavior can be modified as well and you use the forward slash question mark to determine which modifiers are available. Now let's talk about Netstat. Netstat is used to list all inbound, outbound TCP IP connections on a given node. It's very useful in determining which connections are consuming network resources. The net command is most commonly used to map a remote shared drive or resource to the current node. An example of that would be if you wanted to map a network share would be c colon backslash net space use space then a drive letter space and then forward slash forward slash and then the path to the shared resource. It has some other great uses and I recommend that you google Windows 7 password recovery to find one of the great uses for the net command. NSLOOKUP is used to query DNS to determine if a record exists. It's very useful in troubleshooting DNS issues. Now let's talk about NBT STAT. It's used to troubleshoot NetBIOS over TCP IP. It's very similar in function to ARP, only with NetBIOS. NetBIOS is the human-friendly name given to nodes and we will be discussing ARP in just a moment. I find the ipconfig command to be very useful when I'm troubleshooting networking issues. It lists the IP configuration for a given node. You use it in conjunction with ping and with tracer to determine if there is an IP address conflict. Now let's discuss ARP, Address Resolution Protocol. It's used to resolve IP addresses to MAC addresses. That's how a switch knows where to deliver a packet. Use ARP at the command line to resolve ARP table problems. Now that concludes this session on command line for networking. We discussed command line tools, and then we discussed some networking command line utilities. 
Now, on behalf of Peace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure we'll do it again soon.